Okay. So with your training material, and this is a part of the last thing that I will talk about this particular snappy X mission, this lecture about mesh and with the snappy. Uh, with your training material, you're going to find this folder. Okay, 101 is HN advanced. So we address these cases here, but you have this one. So these are advanced cases that later you can go on and you will see what happens. But well, there are two cases that I really like here. We have N2, this is a very nice case. So with your training material, you will find a supplement file, this one, CSTR. And this case, this is a very complete dictionary, okay? So as you will see, probably it's, a, it's, a, it's as complex, complex as it can be, okay? So basically what you have there is this, okay? You have this case and see that we have this geometry. You have multiple STLs, a lot of STLs, and what we want to do is put this impeller into motion, see there? So here you have all the steps to follow, how to do that, okay? How to read multiple STLs, some post-processing, splitting regions, creating cyclic AMI, how to put everything into motion. You have everything there, okay? So I'm not going to go into details here, but see that very complicated see that you have many stls there okay with regions some some of them with no regions then you start to apply here refinement okay surfaces access regions and so on then here you do the splitting so to put this region into into motion here is where you use this splitting okay create baffles and so on and the the full options now for the then snapping and boundary layer. So in this case, we're not adding boundary layer, but it's the one you can add it just to make it lighter. And then you have the script. Now in the script, you can put it into motion. Okay, so this is a very nice case. So I invite you to, to visit this one and try to reproduce. You have here all the geometries and everything. Uh, you have the also, this is an shape. You have any links in the previous video. There is one link that you can see the actual geometry. And I would like to come to this one, okay? And this one is a 2D NACA airfoil. And this one I want to use it just to mention here in the final advices, look at that, I say that avoid very large background meshes, okay? You can use me mesh stretching or lock and refinement to concentrate more cells in region, in the region close to the STL surface. And let me address this one in particular, okay? So let me go to M1, okay? And let me cre create block mesh. And let me open also an another one here. So there is no nothing new, block mesh, snappy, everything is in the same way. This is a 2D, then we use a strip mesh. Okay, so there is no nothing, nothing hidden there. Okay, so block mesh. So see that the meshes, we have the, in both meshes, we have exactly the same number of cells. And look at what is different about, in this advice that we talk about stretching and concentrating, concentrating more cells. So this is the original mesh, and then we're going to put there a body, it is an airfoil now. And then in the second one, we're using a stretching, okay? So we're, here we're putting, and see that the difference is evident. So here, remember that all this splitting during the castellation is done as referen in reference to the cell next to, the, to that one. So see that as you have here, a smaller cells, when you choose a refinement level, you are going to get finer meshes on the surface. Okay, see it. So let's see now, this in, in action and you will see the effect okay but important i will open this one and see the snappy x mesh see that in the surface uh, uh, uh let me show you the refinement level that i'm using in the surface in this case is four four okay in the one that you have the uniform one and the refinement level that i'm using in the one with the stretching 
okay let's see it's also 4 4 okay so this is in the limit that I recommend to you so let's run both cases and let's see all the mesh okay so you have this the scripts there okay so very fast okay there is not a there is no biggie and actually let me do it better so let me create touch case two dot phone okay and let me go paraphone here okay and let me open the other case that we have here okay I will split the screen so this is a little bit more advanced in this one I don't want to see this one right click link cameras okay now they are linked and let me plot here and here okay so see the difference in the cases okay so if I zoom in let me put so remember that we're using the same exactly the same refinement but as in this case the background mesh is finer see that I managed to get better resolution okay so that is this this advice that I show you here refers to that so do not try here to go to refinement level to six because it's too much it will use too much memory it will give you problems with the boundary layer better get a finer uh, background mesh okay but don't do the refinement globally okay you can do it globally but again you are going to waste memory so you can use the stretching but there are more efficient ways to do that okay so instead of doing this stretching that it's difficult to concentrate, uh, to control it, sorry. Uh, you can use ref local refinement in block mesh, okay? So I hope you, you got the idea here, okay? And now let me move to entry, okay? So in entry, we do that local refinement, okay? So the idea is the same, we are using in snappy the same refinement so you see that all cases they do have the same refinement the only thing that i'm changing okay it is the okay so probably here let me put four the only thing that we're changing okay now i opened the wrong file it, it is the local ref, the background mesh okay so that is going to give you better results so see that all of them are using the same refinement so if you go to entry, see that you have this ROM mesh, block mesh. And this would appear to be a little bit complicated. So let me run this one. Okay, just to show you what is happening in block mesh and how we can do that local refinement. So here I'm showing you that in 2D, but it can, can be done in 3D with no problem. Okay, there is no, no issues there. So this is the idea that now you select a group and here you put your body and see that will be okay this here see that now as these cells are smaller you get better refinement without the need of using a surface refinement of six or eight okay so this is ex strongly recommended to proceed in this way and how you do how do you do this so you can create block mesh see here that we're using top of it a new tool and remember when you are lost phone info top of it or you can read the documentation so see here that you have a few options and see it will tell you a little bit what you can do some tutorials okay and you have some documentation but also you have these tutorials that you can use uh, uh, as documentation so top of set it will read a dictionary so see that top of set and if i open this dictionary see that what we're doing is selecting a group of cells okay so see that top of set and then i'm doing a refinement and i 
applying this refinement, reading also another dictionary that will be C3. So see that and you're doing a selection here, C3, and it's just a box selection. This box selection, now I'm going to apply a refinement. Okay, so that, that box selection actually, you have that, you have those sets there. It is, those are available. Okay, so if you launch Paraphon, you can access those sets. Okay, you select here, include sets and you're going to see this set three. Okay, let me hide. Okay, I don't need this. See that set three? Okay, now it's this. Okay, okay, okay. It shows the wrong one. I don't know why it's showing that. But you can access those sets, okay? And in, cell, in the cell set three, then we have refine edge mesh this one and you apply this refinement so what you have here this is another tool again for an info and you will see what is refine mesh so you are doing refinement in this direction this is direction vectors okay this is x and y direction apply refinement so it's doing that splitting okay so let me go again so run mesh block mesh so function tutorials it was okay so if i open here so see that it's doing selecting this box and doing and splitting in those directions okay so you are keeping that constraint. So just to show you that, let me en enable the other level. So see that I will enable the other level. See that you are creating refinement boxes. So this is the clever way. This is how I recommend it to at this local refinement to have better control. So this re dictionary, refine mesh dictionary, see that it will access that set that you created using top of set. Okay, you give a name, cell set, box to cell, and give coordinates. You can also use a cylinder, whatever. Give the directions, and that's all. So now, if you do the, your mesh, so let me go here, run mesh all, you are going to, to use your background mesh will be that one that you just refinement. So now you can use a smaller surface refinement level to get a given cell size. Okay. So see that now this is your result, a very nice mesh. So as you measure this cell size here, and as you want to get something similar using the the standard, the original block mesh, you will see that your refinement level will need to be something about eight, which is too much. It's going to give you problems, going to take too long. Okay, and see that nice here, you have like the trailing edge. Sometimes some people say that the boundary layer collapse here. So see that here, we don't have that issue. Okay, but that is because something else, and just to show you another trick here, is you open mesh quality here, see that uh, in this case you can play with this with these options okay to reduce that one so if you have that collapsing what you can do is disable those switches mesh quality when you disable those you are not going to have problems so this is one of the issues with with snappy that these metrics are, are <clears throat> they are colliding no and Sometimes it tries to, to improve this, the man uh, in orthogonality, but when it's trying to improve this one, it goes in detriment of the other. So they are colliding. So it's difficult to satisfy both, both of them. Okay, so let me go back here. Okay. And let me put now, see that in this one, we have all the boxes. So we're adding three different refinements. 
everything done at the level of a snappy X mesh I'm not doing any refinement at the level of those those regions at the level of a snappy okay so now that we have the mesh okay so let's go here so here you have high aspect ratio so on that, that that's not a problem see that also we have a large box here also this was done using uh top of so it wasn't done using the refinement of of a snappy and off you go okay so see that we have this nice mesh okay so to get similar space using the starting one you will need to add a large number number there okay of surface refinement and in the other the other, there is another method okay so probably this one seems a little bit complicated let's go to m4 this is another method to do that so just to show you is you recall that in the snappy x mesh you can also control that background okay so see that if you open this one instead of of using block mesh and the refined mesh utility see that you create block mesh and then you run a snappy x mesh but this is snappy x mesh is not reading any stl okay so see that if you open here there is no stl it's just refinement boxes that you are going to use to create that refinement okay so see and also important just the castellation i don't want to do any boundary layer snapping i just want the castellation because the castellation is a back background mesh so let's run this one and let's see what we have and i like this one because this one is easier to control now and because you can read also stls and stuff like that and you can do crazy things okay so see that here for instance we have this cylinder and this box okay so you can do this also with stl but just to show you another option okay so if you go here and now you run all you're going to in run all is going to do that that background mesh there is some clip by the way there is some cleaning involved here you see some comments there because when you do use a snappy x mesh it will create some files that you need to erase otherwise it's going to get confused okay so here you have the comments you can check that then you do this cleaning and then you launch this and in this here now you are reading the stl okay so here you only read stl you only create those refinement regions in the constellation here you read the stl plus you are doing also the snapping and the boundary layer so let me open here and see that we have a beautiful nice mesh with a really fine boundary layer probably here you have this issue here and just to show you that in the previous case uh, there was a very good mesh here you have the problem so for instance if you want to solve that problem you can go here and it's this option so these are just to let you know that this can be conflicting so it's difficult now when you put those quality metrics okay it's difficult to satisfy for all of them so when you put like this you are disable everything and when you disable everything it's likely that you are going to solve that problem maybe you are going to get to get some values larger so but still this is acceptable and now see that part of fun problem solve okay so you can play around with this auction and you will see that these are conflicted so if you set this one you are not able to get something if you set the others then it's going to enter into conflict with the other okay so this is the problem with the snappy and this mesh quality controls and these are the most important ones okay then you have this one that also they have more or less an influence but the most important ones are these so i just wanted to show you this this these techniques now how to control the block mesh i show you this in in 2d but you can do it in 3d i really like the method for this is the one i prefer but you have to be careful with those files that you get unique to this on cleanup so that's all for for meshing thank you very much for your attention if you have questions please write it down and then in the q a session 
I will try to answer all of them. Okay, bye.